welcome back to my channel i know i haven't been here for quite a long now maybe around two weeks but i'm back again with another video so today we are going to be discussing how to practice self-love i have some notes in my book here that i write you know just to put some points down that i don't want to miss so how do we practice self-love I believe that self-love is something that all of us need into our day-to-day -day lives. Some people don't see self-love as a priority to them. They often believe that they have to turn to other people first or validate their happiness through somebody else. One thing that people fail to realize is that you come first into your life. Some people may see it differently, especially mothers out there who may think that their children come first into their life which nothing is wrong with that but sometimes not sometimes all the time you have to take care of yourself first before you can take care of your children because when you're not happy how is your children going to be happy you have to set examples for your children so that when they grow up they know what exactly to follow and how to put their self first so yeah parents we not we i'm not a parent <laughs> yet so parents, we have to lead by example to show our kids. And also it's very important to take care of your body, your soul, and your mind. Some people just tend to do it when they are feeling sick or when they're feeling down. But when everything else is fine, they don't take the time to, you know, sit down and reflect on what's going on with them inside and outside we all need to do better in practicing self-love for some of us who doesn't already do it so what are the steps that you can take to practice self-love the first step you can take is practicing how to eat right you can be eating junk food all the time and when you gain a little weight you start body shaming yourself come on now you could do better than that eat right and your body will take care of the rest it's that simple the next step is stop stressing too much guys especially if you have a job don't let your job stress you out too much that it leads you to depression if you need a break from your job apply for some sick days or vacation days you know they're not there for style they're there to be used so if you feel depressed tell your boss or whoever or HR I need some time off or you, you could just apply for vacation days go go to your home or go somewhere and just relax yourself and also if something had to happen to you where you can't work anymore because you're depressed from your job and you have to stay home let me tell you something your job will be so quick to replace you so don't take on work stress it doesn't even have to be your job it can be your family, your friends, your, or a relationship that you're in. If they add unnecessary stress to your life, don't be afraid to let them go. Don't be afraid to cut them off, you know, because your mental health and your love life, your self-love come first. Another step is exercise. You don't have to exercise every day, but take, take two or three days out of the week to just run jog for 30 minutes or so just to stay fit and active so that you don't feel dull all the time because it can really be draining and take so much energy from you so how do we fail self-love practicing self-love can be really challenging we both have so much crazy schedule that can get us tied up maybe family children or even friends so when you have all these things going on it can be really distracting from putting yourself first another way we can fail self-love is spending so much time on social media now listen to me there's nothing wrong with being on social media but sometimes we just need to limit ourselves on how long we are spending on social media it's a great way for distraction just to get your mind off of certain stuff but at the same time don't let it control your life and also i feel like 
how we can feel self-love you know when you're in social media and you see your friends doing certain stuff or achieving certain stuff or getting gifts you know here and there and then you start wishing oh i wish that was me and then you start feeling down and feel like i need to do this in order to end this that's not a good way to show yourself love just because this person have it you you think that it's something that you need because first of all you don't even know how they got it you don't know if they borrow it from a friend just to stand on social media and then return it back or is actually really there so you can't compete on social media social media is a place i feel like it's a place where people show off not everybody but a lot of people show off and feel like you may think that they're living this perfect life but you really don't know what happened behind closed doors so stop wishing somebody else life on social media was yours so what are the steps that we can take to practice self-love the first step that i'm going to say that i feel like is very important is spoil yourself don't sit there and wait for somebody else to come and spoil you you can set yourself to do pedicure manicure do your hair do your facials just to feel loved by yourself just to show some appre appreciation to yourself don't sit there and just wait for somebody else to come out from nowhere and start showing you these things set your own standards so that if somebody else have to come to your life you don't have to lower them to make them fit in into your life the step we can take to practice self-love is sleep sleep plays a huge huge role into showing self-love sleep have a huge effect on how we feel mentally physically and emotionally so it's really important to set a time where you have to go to bed and get good hours of sleep before you wake up in the morning and you start feeling tired and you want to stay in bed all day which is not healthy for our body if you want to fall asleep faster avoid taking caffeinated drinks such as coffee or eating sugary stuff before you go to bed because all these things will just keep you up and make you go to sleep really late which is not healthy for our body and if you can't fall asleep at night for some reasons that's not a time to be taking your phone and scrolling on social media for me i find that when i read a book a hard copy book not on your phone but nothing wrong with reading on your phone either but when i find that i read a book when i can't fall asleep it makes me fall asleep faster so i don't be on social media or i don't be on my phone as much another step you can take into showing self-love is having a journal when you have a journal you can always reflect on your day you can write how your day was what you did for the day what you're looking forward on doing tomorrow you can always set your long-term and short-term goals that you want to complete so having a journal i think that is a very important thing for all of us and the last step that you can take to show self-love is say no when it's necessary don't bend the rules you set for yourself for nobody that you know that won't do the same thing for you when the rules had to be reversed or to be reciprocated so it's really important to say no and when you say no don't feel guilty about it be confident in your no so that later on you won't change it to a yes just to make the other person happy those are the steps that we can take into showing self-love and showing more love to ourselves and spending some time with ourselves anyway that's the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please let me know down below don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed watching it and if you stayed until the end of the video please comment a red heart emoji down below so that i know that you watched the whole video until next time guys peace